Okay, well, morning everybody. Uh, well, it's about 1 a.m. here, and and uh, this time around, I'm going to do something a little different. Um, two reasons. One, over the weekend, I think uh, probably a few days ago, I did um, I did a video on a what was it called? This bit what I was. What I did was a variation on uh, what I saw in Athlean X, where the guy on there did his did an isometric chest exercise, I think it was called, where he would take two or three uh, barbell plates, put them together, and he, he would just try to keep it, try to keep the plate, try to keep a hold on them while doing this. <clears throat> I kind of did that, and I did a like a bench press version of it. But what ended up happening is it basically became a a close grip bench press. I think I had it like this. Well. That exercise was almost too good of an exercise. Like, like uh, my uh, biceps and triceps, they're almost recovered from it. So, and because uh, it's my night off and I want to get some kind of workout in, um, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do, I'm just going to do light versions. Um, it's probably, it's probably going to be, uh, probably going to be four exercises. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, um, yesterday morning, Yesterday morning, I did a I did a farmer's carry, like around my apartment complex, so I can't really go I can't really go full ham on this workout. Uh, last time I did that, my uh, shoulder was hurting. Um, I think my elbow was hurting big time and all that. So this time around, um, the ex like, the exercises I'm gonna be doing are basically just light ones. It's in all likelihood, I'm probably just gonna grab 20 pound dumbbells. And I'm just going to keep doing each one until I get close to failure. Again, and I've also said in my other videos, I already work at a job where I do a lot of lifting. So I can't really go afford to go full all out to complete total failure or anything like that. Because I have to leave one or two in the tank for when I go back to work. So, Alrighty, so. Yeah, so I'll just go ahead and... Uh, I'll go ahead and start with the uh, Arnold presses. Uh, for those, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. Okay, and I'm back. Um, this time around, because for the life of me, I don't remember what camera angle I used. Oh, my watch going off. Um, I don't remember what camera angle I used to do my Arnold presses. So I'm improvising right here. So. I'm going to have to do this one standing up. So, this is probably going to result in a shorter set. Because if I'm having trouble trying to keep my back straight during this whole time, I might end up having to abort the, abort the exercise immediately. Because, again, I can't go back I can't go back into work injured. And especially on my back. Because I don't need my back any more torn up than it already is. So, from doing, lift, doing lifting stuff for so many years, it's taking its toll. So, anyway... Alright, so, using some 20 pound weights, here we go. gonna do it for that and one of these days I really need to invest in a in a weight rack that was so I don't have to bend down and pick them up off the floor and pick them all the way up so that's gonna be it for that um I'm going to pause this okay I'm back again and this time I'm gonna do the uh I'm gonna do a triceps press and again I'm not this is gonna be a light version 
I'm not doing drop sets. I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm not going to be doing drop sets or anything. I'm not going to pause at the bottom or stuff like that. But just going to do a, a normal set until I get bar barely close to failure. Close enough on that. And I'll go ahead and hum. Okay. Okay, this one here, I'm probably gonna. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. Alrighty, well, I'm back again. And my last workout for the session is gonna be, um, I don't know the official name of them, but I've done it before on one of my other videos. I'll just call it the corkscrew or the corkscrew curl. It's meant for the biceps and forearms as well. Um, it's based on a it's based on a principle. It, it's different from a regular from a regular roll uh, bicep curl where you just go up and down like this. And this one here because one of the purposes of your bicep is to actually turn your hand from palms down to palms up. I'm not sure if you can see this part here, but yeah, there it goes. Again, not sure you're able to see that or not, but but that that's another goal of the bicep. So um, the kind I'm the kind that I'm using, and because I'm I'm doing this standing up now. I don't have a bench. I don't have a bench or my legs that get in the way. It's going to go. Let me back up a bit. It's going to start down here and curl up. I'm ro I'm rotating my arm. I'm rotating my arm as I'm as I'm doing this. So it's not it's not up and down like this. It's it's going like that. Let me get this one underway. And make sure they're tightened. I bought some old uh, dumbbells from a from a sporting goods store, and uh, you get what you pay for. I mean, the fasteners on these they hardly stay up, or they start they hardly stay locked. I have to keep tightening them up. So. But anyway, here we go. Starting to come loose. Okay, well, that's the corkscrew curls, I call it. So, 
But that's going to conclude my workout session. Like I, like I said at the start of this video, this is just a light version. Because, like, because one, I did a, I basically did a, a close grip bench press that that's still, that my uh, triceps and biceps are still reeling from, as is my chest. I forgot to mention that as well. And, um, I also did a farmer's carry this morning. Right, technically yesterday morning. But I'm, as I'm as I work nights, my mornings and my mornings and nights are basically flip flop. So I'm on a I'm on a different timetable than most other people. So, but again, that is it for the workout session. So, thank you for watching. Have a good. One. All right. Well, I'm back once again, and um, uh, there were uh. Well, I did my, uh, forget the name of it. I did my corkscrew curl earlier, but, um, at the end of it, it felt like more of my, more like my shoulder. More, more, it felt more like my shoulder got the workout than my, uh, bicep did. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, these are just going to be lighter weights. It's just going to, but, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a hammer, do some hammer curls. Let me back up a bit. Like I said, these are just 15 pounds. They're going to be lighter than the normal weight. Um, and again, I'm gonna, I'm not going to go to all the way complete failure. In fact, uh, probably just going to leave one or two in the tank. I might even leave three. But like I said, it just when I when I did my core screw curls, it especially on the left arm, it didn't feel right. Like it felt more like my upper shoulder was getting it more than my bicep. So it was kind of a kind of a makeup. A makeup workout or makeup exercise excuse me I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do some hammer curls Okay. So, just wanted to get that out of the way. And now, I'm going to have to do a little bit of adjusting here. And I'm going to start off my next workout. One moment. Okay. Back on once again. And um, this time, this should be my last exercise for the workout session. These are called sumo squats. And they're, they're meant to target the uh, inner thighs. And... Yes, as weird as that might sound, I kind of like uh, I kind of like developing these here too, uh, mainly because looking at my legs, they otherwise they look real goofy. Like I, like you know my my thighs kind of look like this. You know, really, you know, thighs are really well, well developed. My inner thighs is like straight up and down. It just looks awkward. So, so let me go ahead and I get this set up. And I hope I got the camera angle right on this. And this is going to be a 50 pound bar. This is going to be 50 pounds. Alright, so.
Okay. The inside of my left knee is starting to hurt, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and cut it off there. No. Now this should be it for my uh, workout session for this week. So, again, thanks for watching. <laughs>